In this lesson, we're going to take a look at implementing the form here, the subscription form on the front end. So you go to extensions, you go to module manager, and you want to locate where it says AC mailing module, click on it. Okay, now you want to change the module position from position seven to right, and then make sure that it's published. All right, so let's quickly go through these here. These are the different type of effects you want when someone subscribe. Do uh, you want it to be a slide, a pop-up, and we're gonna preview each of those. Now you have the option of choosing the list that you want to be visible. So let's click on, you know, a selection. These are the two lists that we've created. So you can have both of these two lists display, which is what I'm going to do. And also remember I talked about the color. You can set the color for each one so you can differentiate you know which li list is what and they also have ID numbers here so once you've cho chosen the one that you want to just click apply so now it's going to display both lists on the front end and do you want to automatically subscribe users to which list so all the users you want to automate every time someone joins the site you know uh, then the system is automatically going to subscribe them to whatever you choose here so if you don't want the person to be subscribed to any of these you uncheck both of them but if you want them to be subscribed to both of these or one of these or whatever list you want them to be subscribed to then you choose that and you want to click apply now how do you want to present this um, form do you want it to be horizontal do you want it to be vertical or do you want it to be tableless so we're just going to leave it now at vertical. So it's going to be going straight down. And then of course here, you want to be able to uh, check the list uh, by default. So you check both of those. So check the list according to, you know, show user subscription status. So you want to leave that as that is for, for the most part, you can leave the default um, stuff here. Okay, now we're in this section where it says display fills. What fill do you want to display uh, on the front end? So when you click on selection, it's going to have, you know, their name and their email, which is, you know, the, the two primary thing that you need. We don't really need this uh, HTML stuff here. That was just an additional field that, you know, was created. So let's leave these two for now. And then the name caption, you can just type in here name and then you can put in email. Okay, what size do you want these fills to be? Where it says 80% it's gonna take up 80% of that module and you're gonna see what that looks like. Now, do you want the text to be displayed outside of the, the box or do you want it to be displayed inside? And then you have the options here too of intro text. What intro text do you want to be there? I'm just gonna put that there so you can see what it looks like when we, when we view this in the front end. And then there's the post text. All right, subscription button, you definitely want that to say yes. And then for the subscription caption, subscribe now. Now, if you want to have a different caption for logged in users, then you can put something there, but I'm just going to leave that blank. And do you also want to show on subscribe on subscribe button? I'm just going to put that to yes. We can change that later. Unsubscribe now. All right, the redirection mode or the redirect mode. How do you want it to be the previous? Do you want it to be uh, to an archive or do you want it to be to a custom link? Now, when you put the custom link here, it's going to redirect them to whatever link that you want it to, to go to. So, for example, uh, when you, if, you want it, if you want to send them to a sales page from your main website after they subscribe or if you want to send them to a different page, um, then you can do that here and then redirection after subscription or subscription and then terms and condition. Do you want it to have terms and condition? If so, you can choose from, you can select here and this is the article manager. Now the article manager, this is where you type in all your content. Um, so I'm going to come back to that in a second. So for entry of mode tools, don't worry so much about these here, the, the size of the box width. So let's take a look and see what it looks like. Uh, before we do that, let's go to the menu assignment. You have the options here from choosing on only on the pages selected. 
you can pick and choose the pages that you want that subscription form to be on or you can choose all pages so i'm just going to select all pages for now and let's click okay another thing too you want to have the title show or you don't want it to show so let's just click save okay let's refresh the home page all right so this is what we have here this is the module and this to add your intro text here and I did that so that you can see if you decided to add a text there what what it looks like and this is the post text here do you want to have a subscribe and unsubscribe button there and then you have some of other options like the list uh, and a drop down let's check that and once again I'm just testing so you can see how the different um, features or options look like so if I check the side slide effect here and save let's refresh and see what it looks like so now this is the slide effect so when you click on it it opens up like that and you might want to use this you know if you just want to put just a word instead of putting this form here so when someone clicks on it and let's check out the pop-up effect and with the pop-up effect see someone clicks on it it pops it up so you know those are just some of the different features that you have here so we have this set up now and you are ready for people to start you know subscribing to your list